Question 20. A wire is stretched by applying increasing values of force F. Okay, so I'm going to increase my force on the wire. Sure. For each value of the force applied, extension X is recorded. And a FX graph is plotted from the data obtained. Which statement about area under the graph must bold, some more bold, be correct? Right, so what they're saying here is I'm doing an experiment where I apply a force on a wire. So let's say I have a wire and I hang the wire here. Okay, I'm just going to draw a wire. I'm going to hang it here. Then I will apply a force to stretch out the wire. And then I will get whatever data I get, I plot a graph. Lah. Maybe I won't even get a straight line graph all the time. Maybe it will be straight and then after that it's going to curve. I don't know. Okay. But what does the area represent? What does this area represent? Okay, what area must be correct? Can be calculated as half Fx. Nope, because you don't know whether this wire will obey Hooke's law. So this one is no. Why? Because wire may not obey Hooke's law. Hiya. As you can see, I purposely drew this line as a curve. You don't know one ma. We expect metal to obey Hooke's law when the extension is small. So maybe this small part is still a straight line, but after that it ain't straight line. So you also don't know they stretch until where. May not obey Hooke's law. Uh, the area may exceed, exceed your limit of proportionality. So these are reasons proportionality why the area may not be half fx. Okay. Next, it is the elastic potential energy stored in the stretch sample, which is very similar to C. It is the work done in stretching the sample. And D, it will be the same for any wire of the same material. Okay, I know D is definitely not. You know why? You are telling me um, whether the wire is thin and small and whether the wire is thick and chunky like a boulder or a cylinder. I will need the same force for the same extension. Impossible. So no, lah, no. No, because the FX graph is all right here. Uh, different dimensions whether it's length or area will have different extension for the same force you pull a wire a wire can extend you apply force on a let's say you go to a playground and you apply force on the monkey bar if the monkey bar extends then it's not a monkey bar anymore. Okay, now we are left with B and D. Very headache because they are both talking about energy. So now we have to examine the sentence. Potential energy stored in the stretch sample. That means if it's the potential energy stored in the stretch sample, it also means it is the energy that I can retrieve back. That means if I remove the force, okay, this will return to original length and I get back all the energy. You don't know, right? But it is definitely the work done in stretching the sample. Because of, okay, let me explain. This sample here is being stretched, so it can be in this direction. Okay, and then after that, oh, you have hopefully seen some graph where after you remove the force, maybe it goes down this way. Okay, so if you do it like that, then, okay, let me find the area until here. Lah. So this area is the energy use or work done to stretch 
the spring. Okay, but this area, this yellow color one under the orange graph when force is removed. So maybe I can zoom in a bit. Do, do, do. So this green is F applied. Okay, this orange is F removed. So this yellow color area, let's say this is area B. Area B is the elastic potential energy returned when force is removed. So it is a better or safer bet to talk to choose C because you don't know and you probably will not get back all of the energy that you use to stretch because it could be used to permanently deform the sample. Okay, so these two, B and C, is equal if the sample is not deformed. So when I say sample is not deformed, I actually say not exceed. What limit is this? Uh? Limit or elastic limit, sorry not exceed the elastic limit. You don't even know whether it follows Hooke's law. So it's too many unknown now. So this is what I mean by statement questions can be very tricky, especially now when you have two. Lah. What does the area under this graph represent? Okay, so we cannot calculate it using half fx because no, it doesn't, may not even be a straight line. Okay, uh, and D is pretty obviously wrong because the same material for fx graph will not be the same. So the energy stored will not be the same. You will need more energy to stretch a thicker wire. Okay, so now we are left with two energy statements. One is energy stored in the sample. One is energy required to stretch the sample. So because now I'm applying a force, my question here, the graph is gotten by applying the force not removing the force. So because of this, when I apply a force, this is work done in stretching the wire sample. It may be equal to the elastic potential energy stored in the wire if, number one, when I remove the force, it goes back to the original length. So this, there's no permanent extension here. This orange line goes back to origin. So this means the elastic limit is not exceeded. So the safest bet here would be C. Statement questions. Alright, and that's it for question 20.